Welcome back. Well, welcome to Wednesday, when this will come out, but, uh, yeah. Let's kind of dig back into it. <clears throat> We've been having, again, kind of a low run, but that's expected. I'm gonna change things up. I'm just gonna pick... I'm gonna run Blue Baby for a little bit. Um, there's absolutely no reason for it, except for my preference. And, uh, that's about it. It's about... Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> and so... I've, uh... Well, first and foremost, I want to get one thing out of the way. Uh, the gnome. Thank you very much. Um, I really... Oh, those guys are cool. Come, come on, come get it. Come get it, little buddy. <clears throat> the gnome, thank you very much for calling out uh, audio issues. You've done it in the past, and you continue to do it, and I appreciate it, you know? I think it's easy to try to say that... Excuse me for one second. I think it's easy to, like take someone's comments uh, in a negative way, especially because it's like, oh, it's they're saying bad things about my content. Well, it's not at all the case, you know? In this case, uh, not only was it, I mean, really helpful advice, because the audio was garbage on that run, uh, <laughs> but, you know, it, it helps improve things, and that's awesome. Um, and it, you know, it also really helped that they put it in a very uh, palatable manner, we'll say. <laughs> it, was, it was far from offensive. So that really was nice. Uh, and I really appreciate them taking the time to do that. And yeah. <clears throat> so that was kind of the first order of business. The second order of business is uh, I have been fiddling with the settings for a little bit now. And I feel like things are pretty solid. Like... I feel like things are pretty solid. What are these? Well, I can't take them, so it doesn't matter. But they look gross. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh... This is... No bueno. That was... I, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say it. That was a good use of stop. Pause. <clears throat> Yeah, stomp on your spider. Get out of here. I wish I had another pause, but... No, no more heads, please. Oh, that's three Black Widows. I hate Black Widows. They're the worst enemy in this game. So far. Oh, I have two of them split. This is... Ooh, this is bad. Ooh, this is bad. So yeah, if, this, if I die this early on, I'm, of course, gonna do another run in this, uh... Okay, so now we just need to contend with a couple of spiders. We got this. Oh, he gave me my heart back. How kind of him. But yeah, uh, I've been messing with the audio settings for a little bit now. Everything sh sounded good to me. Like, clearly pretty decent, you know. No issues with the audio. But, yeah, I don't always check. Um, and I need to. I, I need to... I need to increase the production value of these if I'm going to actually continue to do this. Because, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's okay, I'll say, for me to just, like, record a video and just release it into the wild. I say the word okay, they're very... I don't want to say loosely, but loosely, because... You know, there's not, like I said, I'm not putting a lot of effort. This isn't a high effort deal um, for me. And so, if I'm going to continue to do this, it, maybe it should be. You know, and that's, it's a very short step to make, you know. Just starting to do your basic checks and starting to do your, you know, due diligence, really. It's something I should have been doing from the get-go, but... You know, a combination of life and laziness gets to you sometimes. Uh, and it did, and I'm going to change that. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop recording in the mornings. I, sometimes I like to record in the morning, sometimes I like to record at night, but... Even if it works better for me personally, it just doesn't work well for the videos, I think. Because, you know, I'm not a morning person, per se. Like, I don't naturally function in the mornings with any kind of 
and any semblance of uh, efficiency or, you know, ability to... I have no idea how much health we have. Ooh, that's a problem. Anywho, <clears throat> problem we'll deal with in a bit. But, uh, yeah, I just really... <clears throat> I need, I need to do better, and so I plan to do better. That's awesome. And my plan to do better incorporates just starting with due diligence and remembering my settings. Uh, the other thing is I got uh, a new headset, and so I used the new headset on that super low, uh, new, super low volume episode. But I really didn't think it would have affected that, because none of my actual settings changed. And so that was- it was just a weird combination that happened on that one. Um, that's about all I can say on it, you know? <sighs> also, I, I feel like this is gonna absolutely bother some people, but I, I- just got me thinking. So, I had to do a plus 12 decibel uh, to get my audio to an acceptable level. Thank you. Um, so yeah, plus 12.7. And I just think most people would be a little like, why, why, oh, why would you put it at 12.7? Because it's not, it's not a divisible by five. I think it's divisible by three, but it still results in a decibel. Like, whole numbers or, or like halves. Yeah, I just thought it was kind of funny. It's something that, uh, many people that I know have, uh, pretty strong feelings about, you know? It, it needs to be, it can't be 13, and it can't be 14. If it's 14, it should be 15. If it's 13, it should be 12. And it just, I don't know, it, you, you, uh, really, I don't know the term I should use, but you're really, you're leaving a lot on the table as far as, like, the interesting things that can happen and, you know, what's actually really perfect for you. You know, what? what's perfect for you probably isn't a whole number. Like, let's be real. Like, most, or like, some specific, you know, some specific number, you know, what? what's good for you probably probably isn't, you know, a number that you're comfortable leaving stuff at, so. <clears throat> like I said, it just leaves a lot on the table if you, uh, if you kind of stuff yourself into those little corners of like, oh, it has to be, you know, it has to be an even number, or it has to be a whole number, you know, there's so much customization, like, in the consumer market, there is a massive amount of customization that you can you can get, and make sure you get that out of any product you you buy. I mean, really, if you can customize a product to better suit you, do it. it you're just oh, sorry about the rant, but <clears throat> I just realized I was just doing something so silly. <laughs> why why would I? Why would I make this work perfectly for me when I can just be unhappy with it? <laughs> it's just stupid when you think about it like that. So yeah, just make it work for you. Um, but anyways, so I got new headphones. Um, I wanted, I believe they're called open back or semi open back headphones. Um, I watch a gentleman named that's got a channel called Dank Pods, and regardless of your thoughts on them, on that person or their channel. Um, <clears throat> you know, they've, they've got their own opinion on stuff, and, you know, they had mentioned them in one of their videos, and I, I figured, yeah, I'd give it a shot. And, yeah, I am very happy with them. I, I listen to a lot of metal, um, and so, it, it's not, like, perfect for it, but I enjoy it. And I think that's what's important, you know? Kind of going back to what I was saying about the... Making sure things are customized for you, it's... It doesn't really matter if they're not perfect for... What I want them to be, or like, what they're supposed to be. Yeah, they work for me, and they work great, so... 
that's all that really matters to me. Thought the store was over here, but I'm not sure. I hope it is. Darn it. Uh, anywho, um, I got I got my first Flack uh, album recently as well, and uh, oh boy, oh boy, I like. It was uh, disturbs the sickness from like the 2000s, you know, because everyone's. I feel like most people have heard, you know, something from that album. And, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's something that is kind of near and dear to my heart, frankly. Even though it's kind of weird to say that about that music, but for most people, you know, it's something that, that I grew up with and that's something that has been with me through more hard times than most people in my life. <laughs> uh, so... I just really appreciate it, uh, and yeah, it's, it's, I feel like metal gets a bad rap, but that's okay, and everyone gets to make their own opinion about stuff, and that's, that's awesome, that's just part of being a person, and sharing that ideology with people is great, when you can kind of show respect for each other, and yeah, I, I don't mean to get all, like, preachy and stuff, but... I think that we forget that uh, people can have very different ideas, you know, within certain realms of acceptable behavior. And it's cool, and you can, you know, you can be friends with people, and you can be... If I take another amnesia pill, will it, like, un-amnesia me? No, no it doesn't, of course not. Uh, you can be friends with people that you totally disagree with. You can. I, I have a couple friends that are that I'm like that with, and I love them to death. They're some of the best people in my life, and we butt heads because we don't see stuff the same. And I think that that's, like I said, I think it's important in life to... It's important not just to have those people, but also to kind of sh respect them because, yeah, you got, you're friends with each other, which is great, but... You know, it's, uh... It's difficult sometimes, and the uh, ideas that can come about and discussion that can come about with someone that you just straight up disagree with, it's hard for a lot of people to process that unemotionally. Which, I mean, I get. You know, emotions are very much ingrained in the human psyche. But, I don't want to deal with this. As much damage as possible, please. <clears throat> Anyways, on to not, like preachy stuff. Uh, darn it. That's a good hit. Please, soul hearts. I'll take it. That's, that's a heart, you know. We're not helping ourselves out, but we're not hindering ourselves too bad. So, uh, on a completely different subject. So I grew up in Southern California. Uh, and I, I... I don't want to ever live there again. Uh, for several reasons. You know, I don't agree with the populace. And I don't agree with some of the ideologies that are spouted down there. Just like I don't agree with some of the ones up here. Uh, I'm not saying which ones or anything like that. Just... I don't, I don't really see eye to eye with that place. <clears throat> and that's cool. That's why I left. Uh... And one thing that I thought I would miss a lot more uh, moving to where I live now in the Midwest uh, is I thought I would really, really miss just the constant sunshine and, you know, the heat. Because you do get used to the heat. Like, I, I had no problem functioning in, you know, 100 plus weather uh, easily up into the, like, 120s. I had no issue. And so, you know, I thought I'd really miss the heat, and I'd really miss the... I thought I'd really miss a lot of the, you know, just consistently nice weather. But, <clears throat> I love the weather out here. So, like, right now, it's... Uh, it's what I'd call dry lightning. So there's no rain. 
but there's very clearly lightning and thunder. Um, and it's something that you we sometimes got out in California, in San Diego, but it was so dry out there that instead of like, oh wow, such a weird, interesting, cool phenomenon, it was like, oh my god, the whole place is going to burn down because, well, you know, it's dry and everything is tender. Woo! You know, that's something we fought all the time out there is fires. You know, they were, they were a constant, I can't, I think three times my house almost burned down? You know, and we had to like panic evacuate and trying to figure out like, all right, what are we, you know, what are we going to lose this time if, if everything goes up? Uh, and I had good friends, uh, actually one of my friends had a, a special done on her and her family um, because they were caught up in a very unfortunate situation where um, they actually lost a couple neighbors uh, because of the fires. And yeah, it, it's... You know, it's, it's constant out there, you know, people out here talk about how terrible winter is and everything. It's like, well, imagine, imagine how, imagine how uh, odd it is for me to like, ah, yes, it's, uh, <clears throat> what, what are we going to lose this time? Like, how, how worried am I at this fire season that someone's going to, or like, my house is going to burn down and with everything that we've ever owned in it. I don't know how I got through that little gap, but I'm so glad I did. I didn't get through that one. Please go down. I'm gonna die to a spider and it's gonna really frustrate me. Please, 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 please go down, please go down. I didn't die. <clears throat> I don't know how. So we've got a half heart. I'll just keep rolling. Have fun with it. So I'm recording this pretty early on Tuesday evening, <clears throat> and so I think, depending on how much further this goes, I'm going to probably record a new video, because I've talked about it a lot, and I want to, I want to do it, you know, I want to, I want to add content, I want to, I kind of want to differentiate myself, like, I've, I've talked about it several times on the channel that... Isaac's just something that's kind of near and dear to me because of its role in keeping me kind of together during some very trying times. But, I, you know, I also love some other... Oh, I hope this still works. So, in Afterbirth Plus, this would give you three soul hearts if you... Yes! So there shouldn't be a crawl space down here, but I'll check anyways. <clears throat> but yeah, the... Uh, you know, I've talked about it on several occasions, I think, about how it's been there for me in some very rough times. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> I think it's time to kind of shake things up. Uh, I'd really like to bring Subnautica back. I'd really like to bring uh, Satisfactory into the mold. Um, I've tried Subnautica, so, and that actually did pretty decently on my channel for a bit. Uh, but it just really fell off, and it, would, it was kind of difficult to get it together. Um, but that's not a good excuse, to be honest. But or to be blunt, I should say, not honest, because I try to always be honest. I just obfuscate some things about me because <clears throat> I don't know. That's just really. I, I think everyone should be cautious about what they put on the internet. Um, and I think that, I think that it's easy to kind of forget that, and, uh, I think it's kind of easy to forget that. You, you make mistakes, and those mistakes can be very costly, you know? And I don't really want my, you know, I'm not ready for my family or anything to be in any kind of limelight or any kind of, you know, positive or negative, you know, any kind of public venue like that, you know? So, and, it, and that's not something they signed up for either, you know. I signed up to make this YouTube channel, not not my family. And so, well, some of them did, which we'll, you'll know about soon enough. But, <clears throat> you know, my wife and children didn't, for sure. <laughs> and so, since they did not, I'm trying to keep anything about them very quiet. Anywho. Oh, no. This, this room is my hell. Okay. 
Let's go nice and slow, one, time, one spider at a time. Just focus on one and dodge the others. We need to watch top because we're getting kind of third partied by a uh, that guy right there. You, you go away. So we need damage, I think, and we need tears rate, and we need health. Lots and lots of health. What are you? Tender rock too. Boop. Oh, the new ghost pepper. That looks great. <clears throat> They've updated so many of the items in this game, and holy... Okay, just bring the noise, alright, let's do this. Headless Horseman, no problem. I got some fire for you. Stop it. Come on. Bring the fire, bring the fire, bring the fire, bring the fire. Yeah, that is awesome. Ooh, I like paws better. I have two and a half, so it looks like PhD. I can't take it, so they've. That's kind of I'm. It's. So if it if it gives you soul hearts but takes soul hearts, I wonder if it will allow you to take it because I would I was clearly gonna die from that is why it stopped me from taking. It. Um, you know I had two and a half whole soul hearts. And it needed three. So I wonder if... If it's like ceremonial robes gives you a couple soul hearts. If, whoop, got enough bombs for this. I could probably place these better to try to hit both, but... I more just want them hit. Oh, we are striking out big time. I'm not going to question whether or not they give them, because I'm pretty sure they still do, I just... Bad luck in that roll. Yeah, you get good luck, you get bad luck, no big deal. But yeah, just, uh... Chilling, playing games, like I said, I think I'm going to... Record... Uh, satisfactory after this. And, uh, kind of get a pilot episode out. Uh, potentially tomorrow alongside this one. Maybe later in the day, just so there's no conflict. Uh... Yeah, just have fun with it, you know, and try to try to learn my style, because I don't really know, like, even even in this, like, I'm trying to learn, but I'm mimicking people like Sinvicta, um, and I'm just not weird as, I don't want to say weird, because that's such a negative, that has such a negative connotation to it, but, like, there's a gentleman who's got a channel called Let's Game It Out, who is part of the inspiration for my play, my wanting to play Satisfactory. Uh, and you know, I'm just not as... Oh, what's... I, I Like I said, I don't want to say weird, but weird's just kind of the word for it. Like, he's just got crazy ideas he implements, and he implements them well. But they're a bit nuts, and it's kind of funny. <clears throat> and I just don't give voice to my thoughts like they do. But like I said, it's it's a stylistic thing, I think, and once I find whatever style works for me, we will uh, we'll party with it. Where are you? So now I've got... Ooh, I'm almost Beelzebub. And there's another Tindergrok. Are Tindergroks easier to spot in Repentance? Because I feel like they are. I'm having a much easier time. Oh, no. What the heck? Okay, getting triple and double tapped. You guys need to knock it off. Now. These guys float, which... I didn't... Mm, we are getting close. But we need to stop. Okay. No mass. No more. No more goofing around. Let's get it together. And just fly over here. Cook them. That was a good one. Sorry, uh, so behind me is the light that is, or lightning that is striking, uh, and stuff like that. It's really, like I said, I just love it. I love the weather out here. I thought I'd really miss California's, like, just constant nice weather, but I, I think that I appreciate, I appreciate nice weather a lot more out here because it's 
it's certainly not infrequent. Like, there's a there's a large number of very very nice days. And the other thing is like your your tolerable temperature changes drastically out here because you know sure it's you know you're thinking like oh well you know 50 degrees doesn't sound all that great you know 45 degrees doesn't sound all that great and it's like yeah but compared to negative 20 it's really nice compared to you know i mean even compared to darn it even compared to 30 degrees it's really nice so thanks everybody for watching tried to do blue baby run got pretty well got pretty far um had some fun conversation and like i said bear with me while i'm trying to figure out my style and uh yeah thank you all i really appreciate it i really appreciate you taking the time and anybody that has suggestions please leave them in the comments it helps a lot later on